Hello everyone and good morning. You've joined us on a beautiful Wednesday morning, the 12th of April. Uh, here to get you all your daily news updates, this is Good Morning ACS. April is Arabic and World Language Month. Uh, the MYP Personal Project Exhibition is going to be on Thursday, April 13th from 3 to 4.30 in the Sports Hall, so be sure to attend that. It's the Senior Bake Sale was a huge success. Thank you for all your support, everybody. And, they were pr and the stuff they had was pretty good, so yeah, definitely. Uh, grades 7, 8, and 6 have a camping trip on uh, April in April from the 25th to the 27th in Fujera, UAE. Sounds really awesome. Those are the latest headlines with myself, Hisha. And Yara. Up next we have sports. Good morning everyone and welcome to Sports at ACS. The swim team heads off to Dubai on Thursday, the 27th of April. Good luck Dolphins at the meet. ACS Running Club is in full stride at Aspire Park. Meet at the Burberry at 8 a.m. every Saturday morning for a timed 5k run or walk. That was Sports with Mira and Ezra. Up next is World News Wednesday. Good morning everyone and you're watching World News Wednesday. The perilous history of the penguin colony on a small Antarctic island has been recorded in their excrement. Through the dating of moss fragments in the sediments of Arctic Island, an Ar Antarctic island, it was found that Gentoo penguins, a type of penguin inhabited the area were established on the island about 6,700 years ago when the area was delicated. This info pre, uh, predates that population of the entire peninsula about 1,000 later. How did these mo moss fragments give the word, give this information? One word, poo. Yes, it may seem disgusting, but excursions found buried under the ash fall caused by the then eruption of a volcano on the Deception Island, a nearby island, and skeletal evidence helped pave the way for the scientists to discover about when these penguins' ancestors first inhabited the island. Shares in United Airlines. Parents, parent, a company, company have dropped after footage of screaming passenger being dragged off an overbooked plane went viral. The viral video showed a very cruel footage of a passenger being forced out of a plane due to the overbooking of the flight. Four passengers had to be offloaded in order to make space for the crew members. The, the perpetrators of the event did some destable things of the last passenger, randomly chosen a 67-year-old man called David Dayo, who was a doctor that had to fly home for a shift. The company has undergone harsh criticism online despite them trying to, to save face when the issue broke up. This event has become a, a wake-up call to the public, sparking sympathy for the man unjustly treated and questions the ethics of the inc incident and the United States Airlines itself. This has brought netizens and citizens alike together to seek justice for the old man. British scientists exploring an underwater mountain in the Atlantic Ocean have discovered a treasure trove of rare minerals, 500 km from Canary Island. A team of British scientists and some diving gear, what do you get? A literal treasure trove of minerals and elements rarely found on dry land. The scientists discovered tellurium and very, a very rare met metallic substance to be found on land in concentrations over 50,000 times than 
that on solid ground. The rocks found also contain what all over all what are called rare earth elements that are useful for various purposes, mainly in the field of electricity. These substances were found in an underwater mountain called Tropical Seamount, standing, or should we say sinking, at 3,000 km tall, 1,000 meters below on ocean surface. This discovery raised a lot of questions as to where these vital resources should be taken from and in what amounts they should be used while keeping their sustainability in place. Those were the latest headlines of Karima and Mahnoor. Up next, we have Teachers of Physics. And good morning, welcome to Teachers of ACS, a spin-off uh, segment in our school that was taken, the idea was taken from New York, uh, Humans of New York. Today, joining in our hot seat is Mr. Saul. Hello sir, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Are you ready for our interview questions that we have for you today? Sure. Alright, so our first question is, what is your spirit animal? What is my spirit animal? Um, I'm going to go with uh, a spirit animal, I'll go with a raven. A raven? Why is that? Uh, they're highly intelligent animals mm -hmm. and they're also, um, they keep to themselves a lot mm -hmm. and uh, I think I can relate to that. Okay, yeah. that's really nice and they're beautiful birds as well. Yeah. And my next question is, what did you want to be when you were growing up and how did that change as you grew up? Um, I, you know, I wasn't really too sure what I wanted to be mm -hmm. when I was growing up. Uh, even when I went to university, uh, I got an undergraduate degree in outdoor education. Mm -hmm. I like nature, I love being outside, exploring the woods, mm -hmm. uh, rock climbing, hiking, lots of different types of activities. Mm -hmm. But I would say it changed as I grew up. Um, I ended up getting a job where I was a teaching assistant in a learning support classroom, and uh, I fell in love with it. I liked it, mm -hmm. and I decided that I wanted to pursue a career in that, and that's the path that I took. Oh, that's amazing. It's very important to take hold of the moments that come by and it just changes the rest of your life. Sure. And um, my next question is, what is your favorite TV show of all time? Favorite TV show of yeah. all time? <laughs> I don't think I could just pick one television show. What is one you would recommend? But I'm going to go back before your guys' time <laughs> and go a little bit older and okay. I'm going to pick a television show called Northern Exposure. Okay. What is it about? Called? Uh, it's about a group of people that live in Alaska, mm -hmm. and a community that's there, and kind of the different um, quirky, I'd say, adventures that they get into with just their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a drama. Okay, so students, you got, you got your new recommendation there, write it down. <laughs> um, my last question for you is, what is one piece of advice that has stuck to you for, for almost all of your life? What is one thing that you stand by throughout your life? Sure. Um, I would say it's something that I stand by that my father told me when I was around 16 years old and uh, his advice to me was never be afraid to be your own man. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I try to follow that. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That was very brave of you to take on our interview questions. <laughs> Guys, that was our latest segment, Teachers of ACS. That was me, Nivya, signing off on behalf of the Good Morning ACS cast. Catch us tomorrow for your daily updates. Bye, and have a wonderful Wednesday.